Hey, this is Contract Wolf. Welcome back to another Stalker Gamma episode. And today, trying to grind quests for new gear, We're trying to upgrade to a better armor suit and upgrade all our equipment across the board. I'm in army warehouses right now. I'm trying to find a green stash and couldn't believe it. I found advanced tools. So not bad for finding advanced tools in the first week. It's definitely what you want. I was really happy about this. So I ended up going back to my hideout and turning these advanced tools in. A hilt, generate uh, medium armor repair kits for us uh, once a day passes, and then we'll be able to repaired this uh, PS5 battle armor. It's a duty suit originally, but we will repurpose it for our needs. It's a lot better than our armor. Be able to tank rounds. So we're gonna upgrade our night vision as well. We didn't even have night vision to begin with, so we actually have night vision now. And we're upgrading to a better backpack. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's going to be a lot of grinding in the quests, and now I'm going to switch it over to the actual live gameplay. So I have to get the uh, side helmet. I got to get up about 30,000 rubles for that because we want to get the uh, calibrated one, the best one. I got to get some uh, enemy documents at the barrier. I gotta grab some white stashes, which I don't think I will grab this one yet till I get my um, shock resistance up. Cause that's called the shock therapy anomaly. But we're gonna grab this stash right here and then get the enemy documents. I don't, okay, I got some uh, Got a loose end here at the train hanger. Might as well bring our uh, mutant parts after we take out everybody in the train hanger. Sell those mutant parts to Butcher. Um, yeah. No loose ends in the south except for train hanger. Pretty much. I don't plan on getting these. No reason to go kill all the military. When I get a bunch of, uh, you know, when I get a, a lot of protection, like an EXO or something, I'll come down here and kill them after I'm done with a brain scorcher. But yeah, we're just getting this calibrated psi helmet so we can uh, do Miracle Machine uh and all that good stuff it's not a pretty sight but it's dead on accurate you guys remember in the intro footage i was nailing people with this sight doesn't look pretty on a sks though it's real bulky looking takes up half my screen it's not great for that what's good for snopping all right so i ended up grabbing some more uh quests while i was here ended up getting uh just might as well get as much money as i can you know because we gotta get Give away 30,000 for the uh, calibrated psi helmet. And then uh, I'm trying to repair up that PS5 armor. Question is, how the fuck am I supposed to get up to this guy? Hmm. 
Dude, this is crazy because uh, you could snipe the mercs with this vantage point right here. Holy shit. All right, doing some parkour, guys. Oh, I literally could have just... Yeah. I didn't even get a... I didn't get no money out of that. Fucking die from radiation. Use this artifact. Fucking radiation. <laughs> you get to the medic. Come on. Yeah, 1400 rubles. Pretty cheap, considering the alternative. Alright, we're gonna keep that on us. I gotta get a matchbox too. Alright, I got radiation under control. I gotta kill these mutants now. We got a spring cleaning quest too. So. Just gonna kill all these mutants around here. inside the school. They're so twitchy, man. Okay. That quest is done. Yeah, you go inside that school, you'll probably shoot yourself. I got like maybe 1% psi resistance. Not worth it. Be better if the mercenaries were just dead quiet. <laughs> Tired of hearing them cough. No? Oh, that was one of the guys. Right beside him. Alright, our next quest is spring cleaning, so. Just gonna drop a save at this campfire. Just in case it's a chimera or something.
Might as well. Got my headphones off because why not? What's that? What's the dog? Yeah, I wind up taking all these mutant parts to butcher and garbage since we're going to be killing everybody in the train hangar. So that's pretty much the only way to go into the train hangar unless you get a disguise, which I haven't had the chance to fix that ecologist disguise yet. But once we do, it's going to be pretty nice. See my endurance is level 12. Press K on your uh, keyboard. That pulls that up. If you're unaware. I actually really enjoy that mod. Makes the game pretty interesting. Okay, this guy's moving fast. This, uh, this is a bloodsucker. Fuck you. Kinda of figured that was something high tier. Couldn't even see him and he was invisible. Okay. That quest is done too. Cool. Alright, so got a stash down here and we got a green stash. Not bothering with this one. Because it's a. Uh, it's an electro anomaly. And I fucking hate electro anomalies. See what this thing has got for me. Nothing really good. All right. Let's get that green stash. That's one of those uh, regular bodies. One of those monolith bodies that are already right there. Now I never did kill that guy that was over there. Oh fuck! I'm up there. 
Oh shit. Oh come on, man. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Where'd he go? Oh, fuck! Well... So... That stash is a little bit better. I didn't realize there was a guy. Okay. Just gonna go back here and save. That way I ain't gotta run so damn far. Alright. Let's do this again. I'm not going through this time. I'm going this way. Watch out for this guy. Something you can do as well is you can actually uh, upgrade this thing. I'm actually going to upgrade it and get uh, stronger magnification. But not vision on this thing too. It's pretty cool. Where is he? Oh my god! Fucking hell, man. Mm -hmm. oh, I have fucking ammo. sucks bro dude the fact that stalker gamma got put in autumn makes the chimera even more dangerous he actually blends in with all this brown fucking hell let's go find this son of a bitch oh yeah Run straight into the radiation patch this time. Oh, I hear him. Oh my god. Where's it at? Well, is he fighting them? Hopefully these are good guys over here. Well, well ally do us, I mean. Please don't be loners. Be fucking loners. Okay, it's Mercs. Good shit. Cool. Uh, let's see if they got any quests. Whoa. Got a bunch of stuff over here. Well, fuck is he fun? No, start up, guys. Well, 
Was he fighting? Fighting that fucking. I don't know where that chimera went. I think the call just killed it. Thankfully, that's a good thing for us. I guess that was a good. I guess that was a good judgment call. Fucking going this way. We'll drop another save and then uh, go kill the monolith over here. Barbecued. What's he looking at now? Monolith, probably. That's that fucking guy. He's dead now. It was that guy that killed me earlier? Threw that fucking grenade at me. Better not die in the anomaly. Pistol. We had a Sega. I don't like the animation on that Sega. It makes your character look like he's like running out all the way to the side. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh. Got a dead bandit over here. Where'd I see his body at? Oh, over here. Oh, a lot of dead bodies. Snorks, zombies. I guess Monolith killed him, um, stripped him clean. Up another say while we're at it. I really can't wait to get um, NATO weapons. I'm already trying to get uh, the Remington 870 going. That way I don't have to keep crafting this ammo. Even though I like the KS-23. I don't find it to be practical in the long run. And um, I need a 5.56 rifle. Or a 308 rifle. Then I'm rocking and rolling. I don't know if there's anybody home. Might not be any monolith here. Tell you what, there's some crazy radiation right there. If you look at our radiation right now, it's only 3% resistance. It's fucking terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some uh, anti reds. God damn. Made my guy really hungry.
Just drink some water. That's not really going to help, but let's just uh, get in and out. Radiation's absurd over here. Fuck is it? Just find here. If I don't get burned. What's this? Nothing that great. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get our green stash. All right, wish me luck, guys. I think we deserve this after getting killed two times. I don't use the Sega. Let's just smoke a cigarette. Whoa. Of course there's going to be a catch to this one. Might get killed by this damn anomaly. the fuck it is. Where is my damn... Where's my stash at? Alright, here it is. Right here. Another advanced tools. Damn. That's cool. Don't need these PPSHs though. You know what's cool about this though? When I go up north and I've got a better base location, I can just hand those advanced tools to that tech and then I don't have to go down to Dead City. So that's good to have. Just drop a save so we don't lose it. All right. I always thought duty was a boring faction. Hey, Stalker, чем пожаловал? I'd rather play military instead of duty. 
Military is more fun than duty. I don't know. There's probably some people in the, <laughs> view, the viewers that are... Uh, I mean, if you're going to play duty, you might as well play the loners, in my opinion. Or military. Um, uh, that's just my opinion. Alright, let's top these loose ends and uh, garbage. I'm going to bring all my mutant parts with me and I'm going to sell them. Fucking hell. Alright. Dude, that fucking... I guess it's right up through his ass. So yeah, I'm in the... Garbage. Alright, let's clear a train hangar. Let's see if they're in the tower. shot fucking hell Fuck. Alright, we're going in from a different angle. Stupid ass artifact. I held my damn. There we go. Guess we'll loot these guys real quick. Find this guy's body. I can't wait to get the kill track PDA because 
So hard to find bodies sometimes. Fuck. Gotcha. Oh, that was our target. Right on top of the body, too. Whoa. Hey, that's better than what we got it back at base. Let's back off and save. Then we'll assault the train hangar. Too much shit on me. Yeah, I know I can fucking give it to my companion, whatever. I'd rather just disassemble it. This is badass as hell. Is this, uh, it's a heavy, god damn it. We'll still hold on to it though. I was hoping it was a medium. Let's kill the rest of these guys. Hopefully I have enough ammo for this. Usually there's guys up on this. I'm just gonna do this. See more binoculars first. Don't look like there's anybody up here. They're probably on the other side. Is there really an empty train hangar? I know I killed like three of the guys, but still, it's weird. Makes me more sketched. <laughs> There's always goofy ass music being played here in Clear Sky. It's actually the music that this uh, shard out of artifact plays. It goes, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Stupid ass shit. <laughs> oh no. I talk about Clear Sky a good bit on the channel. That's just because. It's my favorite stalker game. Shadow of Chernobyl definitely is awesome. I just... Blue Sky was the first game that I played, and I really like the faction wars mechanic. That's basically what, you know, Anomaly has, is faction wars. Especially when you play warfare mode. Alright, let's figure out where this guy is. There's got to be a guy here. There's 
can't be completely undefended. I know we killed the guys that were guarding it, but there's got to be one more guy. He's probably going to lay me out. Could be on one of these platforms. Could be a guy down here, actually. Really clear. Well then, that's interesting. All right then, guess we cleared train hangar. Let's see what's back here. So what we get out of these mutant parts? Not a bad haul. Not bad at all. Might as well sell this suppressor too. That's some good money off of him. Shit. Alright, so since his ammo is so cheap, I'm going to be building up this Remington 870. I'm just go ahead and drop. I'm just going to buy all his uh, buckshot. Running a KS-23 is it's not practical for the long term. We want to run 12 gauge buckshot. For our uh, dedicated mutant killer. The reason I say it's uh, not as practical is because it's four shots and you get swarmed by, you know, bloodsuckers and stuff like that. You'll fire it, what, four times and then have to reload and by that time you'd be dead. With Remington 870, I got eight shots and I can dish out more damage at a, you know, higher fire rate. So. Plus, uh, uh Buckshot's cheaper. I can already get it at Dead City from a trader. Or I can come here and get it. But, you know, I have to clear train hangar every time I need to get some buckshot. Which, in the later stages, it's not going to be an issue at all. We'll be bullying duty every time. Alright, let's uh, get back to Dead City. Here he is. Dude, he's doing the squat, man. Doing the Slavic squat. That's why you can't tell me that this is, uh... People are saying, like, you know, the Mercs are uh, Americans and uh, outside forces. It's like, no, nah, the Mercs are, like, more like Wagner PMCs. Honestly. Um, even in the original games, they... You know, spoke Russian, broken English. Kind of like the bear PMCs and uh, Tarkov. Yeah, no doubt there's some of them that are, you know, not Russian or Ukrainian, you know. Um, could be like Polish or Hungarian or German. But I, I don't know. I don't really I don't know 
feel like that's more of a oh. feel like that's more like an anomaly approach perspective i guess these guys are twitchy they're they act like fucking cats or something like little skittish cats i guess they got abused too much by like Sherlock or scar or whatever because scar kills some mercenaries down in dark valley when he was helping out freedom all right don't be pushing me you little bitch wookie ass motherfucker uh, let's see what we can do to get to 30,000 rubles we don't want to be a hooker on the side of the street now all right guess I'll turn it in and see if they need any quests then by the time I figure out what they need, then I'll go down here and kill this guy. And by that time, I just have enough money to get my calibrated psi helmet going. And then, I'll be really rock and rolling then. A lot of progress in this episode. A lot of progress. I didn't announce this publicly yet, but... I had a bunch of viewers that wanted me to do a UN ISG playthrough next. And so I will oblige and do that next. But we have to finish the mercenary playthrough. And we got to finish the bandit playthrough before I get started on that. Because I uh, don't want to be juggling too many playthroughs. Um, juggle too many playthroughs and you never really get anywhere because you're constantly doing an episode here, episode there. Um, that's what I kind of shot myself in the foot with doing two playthroughs is cause I, you know, I got, I got in like three episodes with the bandits and then did three episodes of the mercs when I could have done six episodes for the mercs. So that's why I started kind of going way ahead with my merc playthrough. And then, you know, occasionally do a bandit playthrough episode. Um, because the bandits is a secondary playthrough anyways. But, yeah, we're doing UNISG once we knock out both these playthroughs. <whistles> See what else it needs me to do. You know, I personally really like Freedom. I did a poll recently on what factions you guys... Uh, liked and uh in first place it was the freedom and the loners and second place it was the bandits and the mercenaries that wasn't surprising to me really wasn't kind of figured the uh i've kind of figured monolith would rank higher though monolith playthrough did so well was because uh nobody's really playing monolith on youtube or nobody really ever does play monolith so i guess um it was probably interesting for people to see that you know opposite perspective um i love playing as loners but it's just boring to watch i guess because it's so overdone it's so it's such an overkill and yeah it does get old being in cordon which as a loner anyways i don't ever fucking hang out in cordon i always pick my spawn location as rostock in the beginning i don't like hanging out in the south too long garbage is as south as i like to go i don't like great swamps i don't like cordon i don't like um you know meadow whatever all those cut content areas. Um, the other dark whatever. Dark valley, dark whatever. <laughs> I don't I don't like the southern areas. Because when you do quests and you do get a green stash, it's not really going to spawn the, the good tools that you need. Uh definitely recommend in the beginning you've always if you are allied with duty make your base in rostock if you're allied with freedom 
make your base in army warehouses but because I'm a mercenary I just put my base in dead city once we bypass this side field we'll set up shop at the uh, that little water plant or whatever where the mercs are held up at um, you know in Zaton so yeah That's pretty much the plan. Alright, we're retiring this KS-23. Why? Because the availability of ammo is not good enough for us. So we're running the uh, Remington 870 for now on. Might as well... Run. Place everything that we can. Feels like a constant fucking grind. But uh, we ended up getting another green stash in. Um. Yantor for a quest and got another quest to kill another guy in uh, army warehouses so yeah we're fucking grinding quests out on this episode alright Let's go down to Yantar, kill this guy, get that green stash. I try to throw a grenade. Whoa. I think he just blew himself up. Dickhead. Fucking shot his ass in the door. Oh shit. SKS tactical. Can I actually put on this? Put even more sots on this thing. That's cool. Oh, dude, yeah. These are the still plates that I need for that um, duty armor. That was good. That was really good. So we got a SKS tactical now. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Got better recoil. And it's suppressed. That's even cooler. So I know I can do this, I guess. Question is, are there loners down here? No. Well, not a bad little haul. Let's go get this uh, green stash. Damn. 
this might be better than the other thing we got. Take a look at it when we get back to the base. Compare st statistics. Man. See if I could get this to 50%. The second it's 50% and I could use the medium and bump it up more. See mil spec textiles. That will bump it up. There's this. Okay, we got our armor. We got our armor. Bam. Bam. We got our new suit. Fucking hell about time. About goddamn time. It's only one belt slot, but that's fine. We'll just put a Kevlar plate. So bam. There we go. Now we're officially ready to deal with some shit. And we're good on that. That armor will carry us for a while. Alright, 100%. Oh, 50 already. 56. 73. Bam. Eighty-six. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, uh... We don't want to use up all the charges. That's 74. Just need to charge it up one time. See, I can actually disassemble my old gas mask with the better materials. I don't want to use the charge up on that. So, bam, 85. Now, I'm not spinning it. All right, here we go. So, yeah, and we blew all our damn money again. Fuck. I'm telling you guys. End up bowling through your fucking money doing this shit. Hey, guess what? New gas mask also. So, we are fucking good to go. Hell yeah. Went broke to get gear, but... Hey, at least we got it. We saw all these damn parts and stuff. So now that I've got better armor and a respirator I'm not going to get completely fucked now when I want to go to different places I'm not going to get completely fucked by radiation anymore because previously I had a 3% radiation resistance now I've got 6% plus 35 so I've got a 41% radiation resistance now the advantage of this too, guys, is that I can actually just put a, a duty patch on when I want to go disguise. So this uh, suit's really good for that. Still need a trigger mechanism for my shotgun. This episode's been pretty fucking huge on progression with no joke hope this isn't a chimera oh sweet.
It's one of them small pseudo giants. Things look weird. That thing just like walk into a, like a anomaly or something. Oh, they got vaporized, didn't it? Hey man, you can't go wrong with the Remington 870. It's a classic fucking shotgun right there. My dad actually owns one. See, I, I run the uh, AK and got a Smith & Wesson as my sidearm in real life. Boys like 762 AKs. Hell. Can't get a 545 AK. I mean, you could, but the importation of it. and fun fact, Russia only made um, 5 million plus 545 AKs, but there are over 100 million 762 AKs floating around in the world. So yeah, that's why 762 is the way to go when you own an AK in real life. You gotta think of it like this. Is the ammo cheap and is it abundant? That's when you should, that's what you should decide on when buying a gun. That's why I'm a nine mil guy and I'm a 7.62 AK guy. Um, I used to own an AR-15, but I just, I like the AK better. More uh, stopping power for an AK-47. And AK-47 is 30 caliber. So. Yeah. Kill these targets in Army Warehouse. Alright. Let's try not to get smoked like like last time we were just running through here. Alright. Oh, we got another stash right there. What the fuck? this literally the same stash it's gonna do some of that all right let's go just take a shortcut through here This uh, radiation was really bad through here. Shouldn't be nearly as bad now since we actually have a good gas mask. He's pushing them. Holy fuck. <laughs> Do 
tornado. Got him. Who's he fighting now? Side back on. I can't see shit. He's gonna try to shoot me through a fucking bush. He's inside the anomaly. I'm not gonna try to kill him right there. Cause I can't loot him. Gotcha. Another guy? Us. Dog. Fuck. I want to use my slugs up. The shotguns come out, come out big, big game changer. And that SKS feels good too. Let's uh, loot these fuckers up. Or some other asshole comes by and kills me. You guys know the struggle. SVT, what's up? The first SVT I've seen this playthrough. That's a devastating gun right there. It's like a baby SVD. Alright guys, well, if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. We're going to try to grind up for the Psy Helmet some more in the next episode. We should have it in the next one. This episode was more or less just trying to get us fully hit it out. Um, got a new gas mask. Another new SKS, Remington 870, new backpack, new night vision, all kinds of goods, all kinds of goodies. 
Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.